Hi everyone, let's talk about intervals of usual or typical values as opposed to unusual values. Now, both Chebyshev's theorem and the empirical rule imply that the vast majority of the population values must lie within two standard deviations of the mean. Remember, according to Chebyshev's theorem, at least 75% or at least 75% of the data must lie within two standard deviations of the mean. By the empirical rule, about 95%, almost all the data will lie within two standard deviations of the mean, if you assume a normal bell shape, approximately. But whether you use Chebyshev's theorem or the empirical rule, the vast majority of the data will lie within two standard deviations of the mean. And in fact, for Chebyshev's theorem, the 75% is a very conservative lower bound. Uh, for the vast majority of distribution shapes, you're going to talk about 90% uh, or above. The 75% is very conservative. So let's talk about the 2SD or 2 sigma rule for absolute, or sorry, for usual values. So an appropriate interval of usual values is given by this interval, this range of values from mu minus two sigma to mu plus two sigma. Basically, the mean minus two standard deviations and the mean plus two standard deviations. If only sample data is available, we could use the sample mean instead of the population mean. And we could use the sample standard deviation instead of the population standard deviation. So we could use for sample data x bar minus 2s and x bar plus 2s as our limits for this interval of usual or typical values. So let's say that on an exam, a student asks me after the exams have been returned, so how am I doing in the class? Am I a pretty typical as a student? Am I doing unusually well? Am I doing unusually badly? So what kind of a student am I in this class so far? Let's revisit example three. Again, the scores on a test have mean, population mean, mu, that is 50 points, and population standard deviation sigma, that is 10 points. So then what would be the interval of usual values based on the two sigma or two SD rule? Well, the interval of usual values is given by the interval from mu minus two sigma to mu plus two sigma which would be from 30 points to 70 points. Remember, look back at the number line here. The mean, mu, is at 50 points. The standard deviation is at 10 points. If we walk two standard deviations to the right, we're walking 10 plus 10, or 20 points to the right, we get 70 points, or mu plus two sigma. If we walk two standard deviations to the left, 10 points below, and then another 10 points below. Well, 20 points below 50 points, the mean, is given by 30 points, mu minus two sigma. So the range of usual values, the interval of usual values, would be from 30 points to 70 points. That would be our range, our interval of usual values or typical values from 30 points to 70 points by the two sigma or two standard deviation rule. So if you scored, if you scored 31 points or 68 points, based on the two sigma rule, how would you classify yourself? If you scored 31 points, or 69 points, or certainly the mean, 50 points, then based on this rule, you'd be a typical or usual student. But what if you scored 71 points, or 75 points, or certainly 99 or 100 points, then you'd be doing unusually well. But if you scored 29 points, or 20 points, or certainly zero points, you're doing unusually badly. I wonder if negative points are possible. Maybe you forgot your name. <laughs> Okay, so again, if you score, for example, 31 points or 69 points, those would still be considered typical or usual for the class based on the two sigma rule. 
Uh, granted, you may not be thrilled by the 31 points, <laughs> but it is, it is in the typical or usual range. Whereas something like 25 points would be unusually low, 75 points would be unusually high. Next, how can we use the two sigma rule to estimate a standard deviation? Next time.